Your library offers a host of great resources free for you and your students to use. Conveniently, the resource list tool lets you search and add content directly from the library with just the click of a button, and that's this button right here. Clicking the plus sign will open a search window to the right. In the search box, you can enter a title, author, or keyword, and you can either type directly into the search box or you can copy and paste from a separate document to save time. This is particularly useful if you already have your citations typed out in a separate document. You can simply copy and paste each one here to search for it in the library. The search results include information about each resource, including if that resource is available and in what format. So for the item that we're looking at here, we see that it is available electronically. Electronic items will be immediately available to students once you publish your list. To add an item to the list, simply click it and then drag and drop it into the section you would like it to appear in. Items may also be available in a physical format as we see here. In that case, the library can assist in making physical items available to students once you submit your list to the library. And to add it, we simply drag and drop. If an item is available via open access, there will also be a tag letting you know that, as we see here with this item and the open access tag at the bottom. Now you see both items added to the list. The item available electronically has been marked as complete and the physical item has been marked as being prepared. Both items will be visible to students once you publish the list. The item the library is working on will be automatically updated and made available once the library finishes. You as the instructor do not need to continue going in and updating the list. That will all be done automatically. Returning to our list of results, you can also filter the results by different types of materials, such as books, articles, videos, or open access. To filter the results, just click on the type of media that you're interested in. And then again, when you find a good item, simply drag and drop that item into the section where you would like it to appear. And with that, you have added items from the library directly to your resource list.